Okay, so what we have happening here is we've created a wall that's acting as a windbreak, that's acting as shade, that's acting as food, that's acting as trellis. Because if you come in here, you can see all the beans right in here. You can see them up here, there. That one actually has them all the way up at the top. There's raspberries between them, and these sunchokes actually are going to create volleyball sized root balls and these root balls are going to be there all winter long and you can dig them up and you can eat them and they're good it's like a refrigerator this creates an effect in the house that is actually measurable the temperature around your house will go down if you have shade and then if you have vines that go over a structure in front of your house, you create this, this tunnel of cooled air that before it enters your, enters your house, and you have this moderating effect. So what happens is, hot air comes in and then careens through this cooling shade, picks up moisture as things evaporate, and evaporation is a cooling process. And it releases all that cold air into your house and through the windows. And what happens is you end up with food, cooler temperatures, less stress on your body. And then this food is, you know, you don't have to travel. It's always here for you. And so it's this holistic answer to like all these different problems that seem like they're completely separate. But a simple windbreak by a house living that are plants and these these are these are perennials so these will come back and they'll be bigger and bigger every year and they'll even kind of take it over at a certain point and I might even have to bring in a pig a little pig to just eat up all the little bits and tiller it up but until then I'm, I'm gonna grow this and get this to be covered and then I want to establish perennial vines that go up and then go over that so that we have this perennial food forest around the home so that it creates these protective, moderating, cooling. And in winter, it's warming because living things uh, trap, trap heat. And when they cool off, they release heat, right? And so they, they're warming the house when it's cold. They're cooling the house when it's too hot. And they're bringing in moisture and they're actually cleaning the air. These plants, as as the bad toxic air passes through here, these plants have all these microscopic fibers uh, and they've got all this, this attachment. And what's going on is as they're breathing and releasing and all these different things in the evapotranspiration process, they're, they're capturing some of that and they're also releasing agents that combine with it and they're releasing as water hits them. When you water, you actually create this process of when things hit, it makes microscopic water particles in the air, and those water particles in the air are also purifying, they're trapping those things and bringing it down to the soil, and then the soil microbes are working on it. If they're living, you gotta make sure you got living soil microbes. But then, what you do is it, it, is it gets trapped in the soil, it gets trapped in long chains of carbon, it composts. Not with everything, not with everything, don't get me wrong. We're not talking about taking toxic waste and, you know, throwing it in the front yard. But we are talking about just, you know, the regular, like, detrimental toxins that we're all afraid of that are coming out of the regular day-to-day -day life of industrial life. You know, cars, smog, all these different kinds of things that we all know, we all know exist. So it really comes down to one simple solution. A sunchoke windbreak allows us to create multiple stacked effects that are going to help us in the environment the animals and everything everything that you can imagine that is positive so go borrow some tubers from a friend put them in the ground and return them back next year when you have 10 to 100 times the amount that you planted so check them out they're really awesome and they're really tall they just go forever and they are really, really active. They really make me happy. And they're also good for animal feed, for chickens, for pigs, for people too. Um, some people have like issues with them dietarily. Uh, it gives some people gas. 
Um, but there's also an argument that as you get used to eating it, you no longer produce that gas and it doesn't like cause indigestion. Um, yeah. So you can do some more research on that if you want.